There's no doubt that Emmett and Mamie Till's story is the catalyst to the civil rights movement. The story of Emmett and Mamie Till has always been one about resistance and resilience, starting with the courage of Mamie Till to choose to have an open casket, to refuse to let her son be buried in Mississippi. The National Monument designation was three sites. The first site was the Tallahatchie County Courthouse in Sumner, Mississippi, where the trial of J.W. Milam and Roy Bryant took place. They were accused of murdering Emmett Lewis Till, a young 14-year-old child who was visiting family down in Mississippi. The other site is Grabball Landing, where Emmett Till's body was retrieved from the Tallahatchie River in 1955, and most importantly to the Roberts Temple Church of God in Christ, where the open casket was held. One of the great honors of this project is the people that we got to be in relationship with. And two of the most important was Reverend Wheeler Parker, who was an eyewitness in 1955. Equally as important was Dr. Marvell Parker, his beloved wife of many years, who gave us the leadership we needed. What we were asking was for something that had never been done before. It was a very unique partnership. We worked with many organizations, the National Trust, the National Park Service, the National Park Foundation, Alan Spears and the NPCA, Latham Watkins Law Firm. We were able to bring in the legislators in Illinois and of course the Department of Interior. Once we were able to convene this group and their resources that they had, we were able to move this project forward. We have been intricately involved in the narratives that have been written. It has been my husband's key concern that the story be told, not with hatred, but truthfully. But my husband is happy that the truth is being told, and so I share his happiness because I have shared his grief. This is part of our American story. It's not pretty, but not all of our stories can be wrapped up in a bow. For 50 years, we were ashamed of what took place in our community, but now we're understanding it, and we get to create a restorative narrative moving forward.